uh, Gene turned to me and he said, you've been with me for two years on this. Uh, pick a story you want to write. And I picked one out of his uh, Bible where he had listed about a dozen stories, one called Charlie X. So uh, I let Gene have the story credit and I developed the story, I wrote the script, and um, it was filmed as the... It's a Commodore. High calls. And you know I don't really don't come on screen, but this is major. DC Fontana passed away on December 2nd. A major, major part of the Star Trek family is gone. She was, she brought so much to the franchise. She's reason why we still talk about Star Trek. She had so much to do with it. Like, from the original series, writing or a story by, or as teleplay by DC Fontana. There's so many. From Charlie X all the way to the way to Eden. Like, my personal favorites of hers were Friday's Children. Is a new leader of the Ten Tribes afraid? Let me kill them for you. Or let the clinging on me fight. It might amuse you. And the Enterprise incident. Who are you that you could do this? First officer of the Enterprise. She also was the teleplay person for the Ultimate Computer. And then she probably did the best Star Trek the Animated Series story she wrote yesteryear, which is considered to many the only Star Trek the Animated Series episode that people consider canon. She also wrote uh, quite a few of the Star Trek Next Generation episodes in the first season or so. Especially The Naked Now and Encounter at Farpoint, which kicked off The Next Generation. She teleplayed an episode for Deep Space Nine. As well, she was a part of Star Trek Gaming, which was included Star Trek Titan of Cool Assault, Star Trek Legacy, Star Trek Bridge Command. She did so much for Star Trek. She made Star Trek Star Trek. She's up there with Gene Roddenberry. But also, she's done other stuff. Beasties, Reboot, Babylon 5, He-Man, the Un Master of the Universe, Dallas, Logan's Run. It's a huge loss for the nerd community. What more can I say? Like, we lost a great person. Just at a loss for words at this moment. Because she did so much for Star Trek. She wrote original series Star Trek, Next Generation series Star Trek, fan filmed Star Trek, Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Like she did it all. She did Star Trek video games, and she's gone. So let's just all take a moment to remember the greatness that DC Fontana brought, and there won't be anyone like her. The DC Fontana. Live long and prosper, people. Hail and frequencies close. That was my next writing assignment, actually. Uh, while we were there on the lot, Gene Roddenberry and I, making the first Star Trek pilot, I said, Ben Casey's on. I like Ben Casey. So I wrote a spec script and put it in, and um, it was bought.
thank you for watching Commodore Ty and enjoying this video. I hope you uh, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and if while you're here, check out one of my other videos. Live long and prosper. Hailing frequencies closed.